This is the fly stitch worked vertically. It creates a barbed like line when it's connected like this in the photo. It can also be used as a filling for leaves in similar shapes. So I've begun by bringing my thread up to the left of this center line. So that's my center line. I've come up to the left of it. I'm going to go down to the right of the center line an equal distance on both sides of that center line. When I go down to the right, I'm going to angle my needle back up onto the center line below the two points of starting the stitch and then anchor the stitch in the middle, just like that. And that's your typical fly stitch. So again, up on the left, down on the right, directly across from where I came up, angle the needle down to the center line, take it over the working thread and pull through, and then anchor the stitch. Now you can change the look of the fly stitch by changing the spacing between them, or even changing the size of the stitch, the depth of the V that's created, and even changing the length of the anchoring stitch. So I'll show you all those options here. Here I've worked the next fly stitch a little closer so it closes up the gap between the two and you anchor it. But you can also fill by working the stitches right next to each other. I'm going down right next to the, the previous stitch and I'm bringing my needle up in the same hole where my, anch my last anchoring stitch ended and catch the thread and anchor it. So that's a good way to make a filling for leaves because it creates a spine down the center of the leaf. You can also change the look of the fly stitch by changing the length of the anchoring stitch. So here I started the fly stitch like before, but I'm making the anchor stitch a lot longer. So now my stitch looks like a Y more than a V. And then you can connect these to work across a decorative line by making your next fly stitch a little bit lower than the previous one, but coming up in the same hole that your last anchor stitch ended and making another long anchoring stitch. But your typical fly stitch, just taken by itself, is going to be worked just like this up on the left, down on the right, up in the center, pull through, and anchor the stitch. So that's the fly stitch worked vertically. And for more tips and techniques on hand embroidery, stop by and visit me at Needle and Thread.